to make the classification of Kolidokal cysts easier to remember, here is a short story about you and a little boy. Let's suppose that this is your house with a street that leads to the main road. A kid, a little boy from the neighborhood, comes over to your house for a while since his parents have some work in the morning hours when requested you to let him come to your house and stay for a while. Now, you don't like playing with the kid, so you give him some paper and color pens so he can sit quietly and make some drawings. After spending an hour at your place, he is ready to leave. He carries the drawings he made in his hand and walks down, down the street. You wave him bye-bye and watch him walk when you notice that he made a clump of some papers and threw it in the middle of the road. Seeing that made you furious and when you get furious, your CSF pressure rises. And you think to yourself that I need to alter his behavior. On the second day, he comes again. You give him papers. He makes drawings and is ready to leave after an hour. You tell him nicely, Listen boy, I saw you throw a clump of paper in the middle of the street. Don't do that, okay? He says, okay, and leaves. You're watching him and you see him throw a clump of paper. Again, probably some of the drawings that he didn't like. You saw him throw a clump of paper on the side of the road. Smart kid, you told him not to throw it in the middle of the street, so he threw it on the side. Again, you thought to yourself, I really need to alter this kid's behavior. On the third day, you scolded him a bit when he was about to leave and told him, I will be watching you and if you want to throw away some papers, put it in the bin at the end of the street. And he does what you told him to do, puts the clump of paper in the bin at the end of the street. Now you're content. On the fourth day, he seems a bit upset with you for having scolded him a bit previous day. You were in the other room doing something else and you come to check on him and you see that he's gone. And there are pieces of paper all over the room that he was sitting in and also lots of paper, pieces of paper on the street. You cleaned up your house, picked up all the pieces of paper, but you left those that were outside as it is. By evening, the wind blew away all the pieces of paper that were, that were on the street. So in the morning when he left, there were pieces of paper both inside your house and outside. In the afternoon, there were pieces of paper only on the street because you had cleaned up your house. And the ones in the street were blown away by the wind by evening. Now the kid is taking revenge at you for scolding him. But you're even now. You scolded him and he did this to you on the fourth day. Next day he comes again. Everything seems fine. You explain to him nicely that you don't care about messing up the street because the wind took care of it and you didn't have to clean it. But leaving so many pieces of paper all over the room disturbed you and you didn't like it. You know what? You just told the kid what irritates and frustrates you. So this time, when you were in the other room, he throws pieces of paper all over your room again, but none on the street and leaves. Because he knows that leaving paper on the street is of no use. It doesn't irritate you. But the ones in your house does. After that day, he never came again. And you said, fine, even I don't want him to come anymore. I don't care. So type 5 is also known as Carolis disease. Now, let's see what this classification is called. Why I kept using the word alter, alter after day 1 and day 2 is because 
This classification was given by A. L. Alonso Ledge and later modified by Turani. So T comes after A and L. It's also known as Turani modification of Alonso Ledge classification. So let's take a look at it again. On the first day, he threw a clump of paper in the middle of the street. So type 1 is solitary extrahepatic cyst. There are three subtypes, C for cystic, S for secular, F for fusiform. All three are solitary extrahepatic cyst. Then on the second day, he threw the clump of paper on the side of the road, that is, extrahepatic diverticulum is type 2. On the third day, he was asked to throw the clump of paper at the end of the street. So there is a diverticulum at the end of the CBD. So type 3 is colidococcyl. On the fourth day, when he left, there were paper pieces inside the house and outside the house. So extrahepatic and intrahepatic cyst is type 4A. By afternoon, you had cleaned up the inside of your house. So multiple extrahepatic cysts is type 4B. In the afternoon, there were multiple pieces of paper lying in the street. On the fifth day, he threw pieces of paper only inside the house. So type 5 is multiple intrahepatic cysts. And on this day, you said, I don't care anymore. So Carolis disease is type 5. And the classification name is ALTER, A-L-T. Alonso Ledge classification, later modified by Todhani. Thanks for watching this video, guys.